let me show you how to wrap a gift with these 10 amazing gift wrap hacks. Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. Tis the season for giving gifts, and I think wrapping them up and making them look extra special is gonna make your friend or family member feel extra special too. Just taking that extra little bit of time to create a gift that is beautifully wrapped is such an easy way to show someone that you love them this Christmas. These 10 gift wrap packs are a combo of ones that I've used for a long time, ones I found on TikTok this year that are seriously amazing, plus a couple that I've learned from other YouTubers. So make sure to check the links in the description box below for all of the sources for these hacks. These would work for Christmas gifts, or gifts really any time of the year. So let's get started. I learned this first one from Mama Mila on TikTok. Definitely go follow her on TikTok. She has some amazing home hacks on there. So you take some plain brown paper and just make sure that the bottom of the paper covers about three quarters of the bottom of the box that you're wrapping. The sides go all the way around left and right and the top is going to be able to cover the top of the box. That's the main issue here is you have to make sure you cut the right size of paper. Then you're going to tape the bottom all the way around the top of the box like I'm doing here with tape. And then you kind of press in one of the sides just like this and bring up that right hand side of paper at an angle. So you're going to have a pleat like I have here. Then do the same thing on the left hand side. Push up the side of paper. You're going to have these two triangle shapes and then pull around the top triangle shape just like this. I found that creasing after you pull up works the best. If you crease before, you might have the crease in the wrong spot and then your package is going to have all of these creases in the wrong spots. Now you're going to use the right side again, take up that lower flap of paper, bring it up over the top of the box, then on the left side bring up the lower flap, bring it up and over, and you have this beautiful pleated pattern. This works so well with a plain brown paper like I'm using here because you're going to really see the pleats. Now on the top of the box, you could just push the sides down and then push the top and the bottom down to create triangles. I always like to fold the flap of my present over like this and tape it so that you don't have any raw edges of paper showing. I'm just using some regular gift wrap tape, but you could use double-sided tape as well or even a glue gun if you want a super clean look. I love this one because the back of the box is completely plain as well if you choose to use that side. This one looks super sweet if you put some faux or some fresh greenery and tuck it inside of the pleats. I love this hack. This next gift wrapping hack is from R. Loopley on TikTok. I will link to her below. Grab some ribbon and you can make it whatever length you like, just experiment with it. And then just fold it over itself in thirds like this and kind of meet everything in the middle. Then you're going to take your hands and you're going to pleat the middle of the bow. You can grab some twine that matches your ribbon. I just had this wax string, this works as well. Pleat that bow two or three times in the middle and then tie the twine around it just like this. This is such a simple hack if you want to make a little tiny gift bows or bigger ones with wired ribbon like I'm doing here. It works with wired ribbon like this or it also works with regular satin ribbon or grow grain ribbon. After you finish tying your string or your twine around, you can shape the bow. And then what I like to do with my bows is I like to tie the ends of them in half vertically and then cut at an angle to make this little V shape at the bottom of the bow. These are so cute as an addition to a gift. I'm gonna show you how I used mine in this next hack. Okay, this next one I've been using for many, many years and it's how to make a gift bag out of wrapping paper. So you grab a rectangle of wrapping paper and you fold it like I'm doing here so you basically bring the left and the right sides together in the middle make a crease on either side and then use a lot of tape to tape that seam up then you fold the bottom up a few inches it's going to depend on how big your object is that you place inside and then you open it up and press these triangles open on the right and left side then take the bottom flap and fold it up to the center, the top one, and meet that bottom flap. Take some tape and make sure that's taped up really, really well. Now you're going to fold the left side over to kind of match up with that bottom fold. Fold the right side over, make sure everything is nice and creased. Now open up your bag and kind of pop that bottom open to create the bag shape. 
What I like to do at this point is kind of recrease the sides to make sure that they are folded the right way so my bag is really gonna work. So I just kind of pinch the left and right sides and I make sure that middle crease goes the other way. You can do a lot of things to this bag at this point. You could add little handles out of ribbon at the top, or I can show you another couple things that you can do here. This is so perfect for stuffed animals or a really oddly shaped gift that's hard to wrap in a box. What I'm gonna do for this one is I'm folding it over about a half inch and then another inch, and then just using some tape to adhere that all together. Then I'm taking that really simple DIY bow I showed you in the previous hack, adding a little dab of hot glue to the back and placing that on top of the bag. You can also punch a couple holes in the top of the bag too and tie some ribbon or tie some sort of gift wrap string in there as well. So here's how this gift bag turned out. Love using this hack. I've used it for many years and it is so handy. Here's another option of how you could decorate the top of this gift bag as well. This next hack is how to tie the perfect gift wrap bow. So you wanna cut a ribbon that's about five times the width of your gift box. I'm just using a plain wrapped gift box for this. You wrap it all the way around your gift box, leave a nice long length at the end, place your thumb right in that middle section, pull the ribbon down and then around the opposite way. Then you're going to grab your ribbon and kinda of tuck it under that middle cross. You're going to have a ribbon up at the top left and you're gonna have the other end at the bottom right. And then you just go ahead and tie a regular square knot and your bow. I love this method because it always creates that perfect wrapped gift look every single time. And you can easily adjust where your ribbon is on all of the four points. Again, I like to trim my ribbon off at the end diagonally and create those cute little V shapes. So not only does this gift wrap bow look great at the top, it looks really nice and flat at the back as well. You can add a little faux greenery sprig to it. And I do have these DIY printable gift tags for free on my blog. I'll make sure to link those down in the description box below. This is such a nice classic way to wrap a gift for Christmas. Here's another version of this perfect gift wrap bow with thicker ribbon and I really like how this one looks. This hack I learned from YouTuber But First Coffee. She has a fantastic channel. Check it out below. If you have a piece of gift wrap that doesn't quite fit your present, no matter how you fold it, you can just turn your present at an angle and go from there. So you take one of the sides, pull it over, tape it down, and then go ahead and push down the side on the left. I did have to kind of fold these a few different ways to make this particular gift wrap work on this present. I think the issue with this one is the fact that you're not gonna have a perfectly sized piece of wrapping paper that's going to fold exactly the way that you want it to, so you might have to kind of play around with different types of folds that you do using this method. I think the key here is just to crease everything nicely once you fold it, and if you have any raw edges, just gently fold them under and crease them and tuck them in. Then you can tape everything at the end, and you're gonna be able to use an extra piece of gift wrap that you might not have been able to use traditionally on a gift and actually make it fit if you use this diagonal method. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a really cute little gift bow out of leftover wrapping paper. This is a great hack if you have just some little strips of wrapping paper. This also works really well if you have one of those inch by inch grid marks on the back of your wrapping paper. I'm just gonna cut one piece that is about one inch wide by 12 inches long, one piece that's about 10 inches long by one inch wide, and then another piece that is one inch wide by eight inches long. Then I have a three inch by one inch piece and two five inch by one inch pieces. So those are all the pieces. I will make sure to list them down in the description box below. You can use scotch tape or hot glue for this project or a combination. 
So take your longest piece and make a loop like this and then tape it or glue it together. Take the second longest piece and tape that or glue it together and then repeat with the third longest piece. Now you're gonna stack these loops all together. Start with the biggest one, then the middle sized one, and then that final top piece. Take your three by one piece of paper and wrap that around your whole stack of loops and you can tape or glue that in place. Now take your final pieces of wrapping paper and attach them together at an angle like I'm doing here and then put a little dab of glue or tape on the top and attach that to the back side of the bow. You can finish off this fun little bow with cutting V shapes at the bottom. I think this bow turned out really cute, just kind of a random idea I had to use up wrapping paper scraps, and I really love how it looks on one of these pleated brown paper package gifts. This next idea is something that you can do with all of your wrapping paper tubes. Do not throw them out. You can make them into cute little pillow boxes. Cut them so they're about six inches long. It's gonna really depend on the size of your gift. And then use your scissors to score half moon shapes in each side of these. So I'm going to pop my little gift in here, which is some essential oil. Then you should be able to push down the sides just like this and tape them in place. This is a really easy and cute way to use all of your wrapping paper rolls so you don't have to throw them out or recycle them. You can use them to wrap little stocking stuffers or tinier gifts. After you have your gift in there and everything's taped up, you can take some extra wrapping paper, wrap it around the middle just like this, and then you can take some macrame cord and add a little bow. There's lots of other different ways you could embellish these, so definitely use your imagination and creativity to come up with something completely unique. All right, I'm gonna show you how to add a little bit of a macrame touch to your gift wrapping this year. I found this one on TikTok as well, and this one is by Taste Made Home. She has lots of beautiful ideas on her TikTok. So you wrap a gift with some macrame string and kind of cross it on the top left of the gift. So you don't wanna have the cross right in the center. Make sure to leave quite a bit of length on each side of your uh, tie here so at least 10 inches then you're going to tie a macrame square knot so you create a D shape with the left string and then you take the right string go over the first macrame cord under your center string and pull and tie through then you repeat this with the other side so you make a D shape with the right hand side take your left hand string go over that cord under your center cord and pull I'll make sure to leave really detailed instructions for this macrame knot down in the description box below if you've never used it before. Once you've made a few of these knots, you can take some faux or some dried greenery and kind of place it inside your next knot. As you can see here, I'm just placing it inside one of the D shapes and then I'm tying my macrame cord around it to secure it. Then you can tie a few more knots and add another piece of greenery. This also looks beautiful with dried flowers. You could use faux greenery. Again, use your imagination. It could also look really pretty with some of those boho themed wooden beads. I love this idea because all of the things I'm using here are compostable or recyclable. So this is a great way to make this gift wrap a little more sustainable.
Once you reach the end of your string or however you want your little detail to be, you can tie a square knot at the very end, trim off any excess string, and then just fringe those edges by pulling open the string. I'll leave a link in the description box below to the macrame cord that I use. This one is so pretty and I cannot wait to give it away. This next one is fantastic for irregular shaped gifts. You can just grab a square piece of fabric that is finished on the edges. So I just grabbed this DIY napkin that surged all the way around the edges. Put your gift in the middle. I'm going to put mine vertically this way. Pull up the bottom, pull up the top and wrap it around the gift. And then you just want to pull in the right hand side of your piece of fabric to make a triangle. Do the same to the left and pull that towards the middle and then just tie a simple knot. Now, if you want this parts optional, you can add some real or dried or faux greenery and create another knot with your fabric. This is called the Fukushimi method. It's a Japanese method of gift, gift wrapping. I love this one too, because you can reuse the fabric over and over again. This final wrapping hack I wanted to show you, it's my favorite way to create a really beautiful fluffy bow with a wired ribbon on a gift. I've been using this method for a really long time and I love the results. So you simply wrap some wired ribbon around a gift two ways, just like I did here. You don't need to leave a lot of length on it. You only need about three inches of length. Now we're gonna make a beautiful bow. So keep your ribbon on the spool because you don't know exactly how much ribbon you're going to be using. And then kind of weave it back and forth in your hand and pinch it in the middle every time it reaches your thumb and your forefinger. So I like to do three loops on each side, just like this. And then when you're finished, trim the bow off, leave a little bit of length at the end for the tail. Then you can place it on your gift and use those extra little lengths of ribbon you left on your gift to tie it right on and right in the middle of your ribbons. Just do a square knot where you're tying it twice and then any of those raw edges on your ribbon, there should be four now on top of your gift, you can fold in half vertically and cut at an angle to create that V shape that I like. Now comes my favorite part, which is just fluffing up that ribbon. You can make it look exactly the way you want to by just opening up all those loops. Wired ribbon is fantastic for this. You can even grab one of the raw edges and kind of loop it around the center of the bow to make this really nice fluffy center. I use the same ribbon year after year, and we just kind of put it in one big bag, take it out and keep wrapping gifts with it over and over. I love how beautiful this looks. I'm so happy with how these gifts turned out and I can't wait to give them all away this year. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you found these 10 gift wrapping ideas helpful. Let me know down in the comments below which one was your favorite. I'd say my favorite hack for this year is this pleated brown paper hat. I really love this look and honestly, once you do one or two of these, it is so easy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will love and watch next right up here.